What is going on today guys, Tomcat here, and today we are back in GTA 5, taking a look at the Veilside RX-7, the Veilside Fortune Widebody RX-7. Now, this mod, obviously, if you guys have seen, well, you guys should know what, what film this is from, and wow, he just completely ran his into a wall. Good, good job, buddy. Yeah, slow clap for that one. Anyway, whoa, okay, so apparently the mod has a few glitches, but, main thing I wanted to get onto about this mod is the fact that if you guys, if you, if you guys have seen Tokyo Drift, you guys know pretty much everything there is to know about this car. But, what I do like about it is that the, not only, not only does it flow really nicely and the details are done well, but it, whoa, oh god. It's a major frame drop. The AI is going crazy all of a sudden over here. But, anyway, actually, let's see if the interior works. The wheel does turn. Gauges don't, whoa, gauges don't work, but the wheel does turn. So, Let's go ahead and get back into third-person view, and, oh, what's up, 2015 Mustang GT? But the big thing about this car that I like is just how cool it is to have this body kit. To have this body kit on, ARX, on an RX-7 in the game, I mean, Mad Mike's RX-7 is awesome, don't get me wrong, but I love the Veil Side Fortune. It's just such a gorgeous, gorgeous body kit, and it just suits the car so well. I mean, sure, I know some people call this, this kit rice, but I think that this kit is about as far from rice as you can get. I mean, it's just it's just craftsmanship and it, craftsmanship and art and a lot of a lot of both of those actually. A lot of craft, craftsmanship and art in this kit and just a really nice looking kit. I mean, it's like you see this thing and it's like boom. It it's just it kind of smacks you in the face almost, but look, it, wow. I almost I want to almost say that the frame rate drop kind of saved me on that one. But it's almost one of those cars where you kind of almost smack yourself in the face when you see it, because especially from seeing it in a game, especially like GTA as a mod, where you're like, does it really look that good? Does it, like, has it really been done that well? And yeah, yeah, it actually has been done that well. I'm going to see if we can switch up the color a little bit and see if any of the other color slots work. Just color slot one, and it's now black, and I guess that is how it's going to stay. So, uh, let's go ahead and, first of all, we are going to fix the vehicle. Oh, come on, scroll faster. Jeez, get this thing fixed. Alright, now, we could, later on, I do want to put a drift mod, uh, or a drift handling mod on for this car, just so we can kind of get it sideways a little bit, and just so we can kind of have fun sliding the thing around. But, when this thing is fully upgraded, I mean, I actually, I actually forgot what this thing was based off of, like, what car it replaces. But, whatever it is, when you fully upgrade it, it is, it goes, guys. It really does. Do I, do I advise that you get this mod? Absolutely. It's fun. And, I think that a lot of the mods, I, I generally, I generally kind of go through the mods that are available, and I really only download the ones that I think you guys are going to really enjoy, and that I would really like to highlight for the community, because... I feel like it's one of those things where, if I'm gonna highlight a mod, I want it to be a mod that you guys are gonna enjoy, and I want it to be a mod that's, you know, that's gonna be, you know, worthy of your, of your guys' time, because I don't wanna waste your time with, you know, nasty mods that aren't, you know, that aren't really worth the time and effort to put into the game, but this is definitely up there on the list of mods that you should take the time and effort to put it into the game, because it's not, well, number one, number one, modding cars into GTA, it's difficult in the beginning, but once you get used to it, it's not that bad, and when the car is worth it, like this one is, it's absolutely, it's, it's definitely something that, that, I, that, that you should do. And just looking at the, like, just the details, like the wing, the, the, way they, the way they modeled the rear window. I mean, they could have left those little rivets out, but, but they didn't. They put them in. And I think it's little details like that that make, them, that make this particular mod a really well done mod. And it's always, it always comes down to the little things with these mods, these vehicle mods. It's the little details that set them apart from the mods that maybe, you know, took half the time to make, but don't necessarily look quite as good because they're missing those little details. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and fix this thing one more time, and, let's see, vehicle options, fix, and actually, flip vehicle, vehicle alarm, make vehicle dirty, what? Let's see. Eh, police vehicle to sky lift, uh, unlock and unlock, lock and unlock doors, rotate 90 degrees, destroy and fix the engine, texture corrosion, lower vehicle, oh yes, I actually, wow, I completely forgot that this trainer could do that, okay, um, engine power multiplier, enabled, 
Engine torque multiplier enabled. <laughs> oh, dude. I'm actually quite excited now. Only problem is, it became a ton slower when I did that. Let's see if it's... Okay, yeah. Much better now. Much better now. Now, let's see. Set engine power multiplier. Multiply. A hundred. There we go. This is... Whoa! Oh my god! This thing spins around, like, immediately now. You wanted a drift version, so here's your drift version. Without a drift mod, this is just, eh, I guess, kind of the back doorway to make a, a drift mod in... Ooh. You know what we need to do, actually? We need to change that torque output now. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Set engine torque multiplier. Oh, two as high as, as, high, as, high, bleh, as, high as we can go. Okay. There we go. That's what- Okay. This is gonna be weird to get used to. Especially because of the fact that it's now raining. Which, I actually do want to- Let's see. Weather. Thank you. Clear. Clear. Thank you. Jeez. I'll have that, please. Thank you very much. Dude, this thing does whatever you- Whoa! Whatever you want it to do. And then, it changes up a gear, and then it actually- Wow, it causes frame rate to lag and drop off and act like the game is gonna freeze. Jeez, what the heck is going on? Ridiculous frame drop right now. But, it's like, it's great until it changes up a gear and pretty much throws you forward into a- Yeah, into a forward- What? F not flex. What's the name of that one? Oh, God. Problem is, when you try to go and counter steer, you catch grip, and then once you catch grip, y once you catch grip, it wants to break loose again, and then once it breaks loose again, it's starting to slide again. So it's this weird balance that you kind of have to, you know, get yourself used to. I'm, I'm, I'm backing up. Okay, I'm backing out of that drift. That's not going to go well. I know, and I know that's not going to go well. Ugh. If you've used drift mods before, this is definitely not a super easy way to kind of do the same thing. It's weird. It's hard to get used to. It actually makes it harder to drive. But, I suppose, if you're looking for a challenge and you feel like you're not going to go into a tree everywhere you go, then I, I suppose it might be actually a good thing. Jeez, it makes the thing twitchy. But it does make you slide around everywhere, though. Come on. Woo! Oh, God. Come on. Come on. Woo, there you go. Man, if it catches grip and you just overcorrect a little bit too much, you've had it. Your drifts definitely aren't going to be slow now in this thing. Oh, jeez. Yeah, this is officially harder than a uh, drift handling mod. Absolutely a much, 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 much harder. I wonder if we disable the power multiplier but keep the torque multiplier, if it'll make it any simpler. That actually makes it incredibly grippy. <laughs> Come on! Uh yeah, wow, that makes it ridiculously grippy. I'm gonna have to play around with these settings just to see if I can't kind of make my own little drift handling mod within the game. But, this thing does look incredible when it's lowered that much. It looks like, it looks ridiculously clean, actually. It looks properly slammed. Properly slammed now. But, yeah, wow. I, I'm absolutely all for downloading this thing now. I, I feel like you guys are really gonna like it. And if, wow, if a pedestrian... Not pedestrian, but like just kind of a traffic car didn't just sideswipe me. It'd be a much better situation. But I highly recommend downloading this mod. It's a lot of fun to use. If you wanna, if you have this same trainer, this uh, the simple trainer, and you wanna just kind of play around with those settings, feel free to do it. it it's kind of tricky um, until you get used to it. But but once you get used to it, I don't know. It it can be fun and it can be frustrating at the same time. But as far as this car goes, I absolutely recommend getting downloading this car. 
And if you guys enjoyed the video, then don't forget to leave me a like. Tell me in the comment section down below what you guys thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more. And I will see you guys in the next one. Talk to you guys later.